Remember, I was the Senate president in 2019 and 2020. And during those two years, the Republicans in the Senate began to separate. Blogs reported that they couldn't even meet. Actually, dislike for each other is what I was told. So I fully expected a bipartisan coalition in 2023. I have never worked with a bipartisan coalition. And of course, this is a very large majority of 17 out of 20 members. When you look to see what kind of majority controls you have in legislative bodies on a national level, it's actually very unusual. And then I don't think you could find a majority group in any other legislative body in the country that has an 85% majority. Part of the work that I've really stressed in my approach to working in the legislature is that I should be able to sit down and find common ground with anyone. Perfect example, actually, Senator Giesel. You know, anybody that knows Matt Clayman knows what an enjoyable person he is. When he was in the House, I was in the Senate, there was a lot of cross-pollination, and there were bills that we worked together on. I just find her very engaging. I really enjoy working with her. I enjoy spending time with her. We'll sit down and we talk about everything from sourdough bread to legislation, to mental health issues, to work through the differences and worked in how did we find common ground. And we actually did a very effective job of, of focusing on what needs to be done. People are so committed to this caucus. For the first time in quite a number of years, we passed a balanced budget that actually had a surplus. And I think that was a product of the strength of the Senate coalition. I certainly do want to see a coalition continue. I think it's one of the best things that Alaska is doing for the country. A lot of us believe that it actually should become the norm. And there's room for people to have differences of opinion. But here in Alaska, they actually sit down and work it out. And I think Alaskans are proud of that. <laughs>